Okay, you guys, so we're gonna start off with this Carez face primer. This face primer has vitamin E and is super moisturizing and feels that way when you put it on. Um, it's a natural primer, so it doesn't have that heavy silicone slip feel, which is something that I really look for in the summer. I usually don't prime my full face. I usually only prime the middle of the face or the places where um, pores are pretty big. But because this is a carnival look, we're gonna prime all over because nobody needs their makeup slipping and sliding when they're trying to bust a line. Seriously. Next, we're gonna use the MAC Prepping Prime CC Cream. Now, this one is called Adjust. I believe they have four uh, variations of this color corrector. And what this does is adjust any imperfections that you have. So as you can see, I have some dark marks and um, acne around my mouth. And we're gonna go really light with the foundation. We're actually gonna use a tinted moisturizer. So I wanna make sure to correct really well so that I don't have to put on way too much um, tinted moisturizer or foundation. And the white cast goes away once you blend it in. It just starts off a little light. Next, I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Concealers. Um, they're the correction colors. So I'm gonna do a one-to-one -one mixture of the yellow and the orange. Um, here's a little tip. If you can see bright orange on your skin once you blend your corrector in, that corrector is too dark. You want to choose a corrector that almost goes away once you blend it in. You shouldn't have to put on too much concealer or foundation to cover your corrector. So once I blend this in, you'll see that it's almost gone. And that's what you want. You want the imperfection and the corrector to be gone. Now you can see that there is a little bit of an orange tinge on my face, but it's not bright orange. And as soon as I put the uh, tinted moisturizer over it, you're not going to see it anymore. I'm setting my face with the Laura Mercier powder. Now I'm taking the NARS Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Annapurna. And I'm just gonna put that on all over the face. Next, I'm gonna use the Ben Nye Coverall Concealers, and I'm gonna blend them on where I wanna highlight and conceal. I didn't use the tinted moisturizer under my eyes because it's not good for your eyes and I wanted a lighter concealer color. Now I'm going to go ahead and set with a mixture of the Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder and the Laura Mercier Setting Powder. So I'm just going to mix that together with a spoolie and then I'm going to put it on the highlighted areas with a damp Real Techniques sponge. Um, it looks like I'm going to bake but I don't bake. I just place the powder on and immediately take it off as soon as I um, put place it on all of the highlighted areas. Next I'm going to start using these blush colors on my eyes. Now I'm going to do a really easy and soft cut crease so here's how. The three blush colors are Taupe, Harmony, and what is the last one called? Blunt. So right now I'm blending Taupe all over the top of my brow bone. Next, I'm going to go in with Harmony, which is what I'm doing now. I'm just deepening, going from lightest blush to darkest. And closest to where my actual brow bone ends, where I want my cut, cut crease to be, I'm going to put the darkest color. So the darkest color we're using is Blunt, and I'm just going to blend that out. As you can see, I'm not really touching the actual lid of my eye. I'm putting Blunt under the... Um, excuse me, on my lower lash line, just to tie the eye together. Because I'm not really gonna do any liner under there, but I didn't feel like leaving it blank. Now, I'm gonna do the little cut crease. So I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Primer Potion and a flat eyeshadow brush, and I'm just gonna carve out a little bit of a cut crease. It's not going to be sharp or anything, but it is going to help to expand the look of my eyes. Because as you can see, I have like a double crease kind of, like 
a skin crease and then where my actual eye socket is set in. So I want to make it appear like my crease is where my eye socket sets in. So I'm just going to use this primer to cancel out those blush colors and make space for a brighter color on my lid. It doesn't have to be perfect either. Next I'm going to take this blush duo from NARS called Frenzy and I'm only going to use that gold color. So I'm just going to use the gold to highlight that area on my lid. Stay within the line of the primer for the most part. Now I'm going in with a flat liner brush and I'm just trying to like smooth out the line. Next I'm going to use the NYX Vivid Brights Eyeliner. And this one is pink. I have to tell you the actual color. I'll put it in the um, description bar because I don't remember the name. Sorry, y'all. And I'm just going to give myself a little bit of a dramatic wing. I love this hot pink color. It's definitely perfect for the occasion. And NYX has like a variation of colors. So whatever color your costume is, I'm sure they have it. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of a semicircle on the lower lash line. I just wanted to do something a little bit more than just the top, so I decided on a little dot. And it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to end up blending blunt into the sides of the semicircle anyway. So if you can't do a little perfect dot, that is A-OK. -okay. it look like the semicircles round and finished okay so I put some lashes on off camera and now we're gonna start the fun part this is a blush from Smashbox called in bloom it's the halo blush collection and I'm gonna put that blush all over my cheekbones and up around the top of my eye oh I also did my brows off camera I'm sure y'all caught that but I'm going really heavy on the blush because, you know, it's a carnival look. Now I'm using Plum Foolery by MAC. You can tell this is my favorite brush because I'm on the pan. And I'm going over the same section but just going a little bit wider because I want this deep color to build my face a little bit more. And I'm also going to put this like on my nose a little bit just to give me like some rosiness, some sun-kissed red. Now I'm going to use the Laura Mercier highlighter and highlight one. I usually would never use a highlight that is this silvery, but because this is like a costume look, I want it to look just really dramatic, so because it's not yellow, like my skin is going to stand out a little more. Now I'm going to use these nail art glitters, I got these at the dollar store, some dual glue, and I chose to use the white glitter, the iridescent glitter, and the pink glitter out of the pack. Also going to need a little tray or something to put the glitter in. I'm using my eyelash tray and a damp paper towel. So I'm going to take a concealer brush and put the duo all over. Now I'm going to work in small sections because as we know it dries really quickly. And then I'm going to dab my finger on the wet towel and start patting the glitter on my face. I love this look because you get the glitter but you don't have to go through doing all the gems one by one. I don't mind doing gems one by one for clients but I just don't have that type of patience when it comes to myself. Is anyone else like that? So I'm just going to continue to dab on the glitter and I'm going to go all around my eyes and across to my forehead. 
Now keep in mind that this glitter is chunky plastic, so don't get too close to your eyes. I'm keeping it really on my cheekbone. And you should end up with a look like this. The glue dries clear. And it's gonna be so dope in the sun. Hopefully it's sunny when you're dancing. Now I'm gonna use this MAC lip pencil. It's a pro long wear, excuse me, pro long wear called Nice and Spicy. I'm gonna put it all over my lips. As you can see, I like this. I wear it like almost every day. <laughs> And then I'm going to pop a NYX Butter Gloss over it. And same with this product. I'm sorry, I don't really know the name. I'm going to put it in the description though, so it will be there for you. Then I'm going to take Frenzy again and just highlight my nose, you know, with my regular highlight color, a nice yellow tone golden. And this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a fun and safe carnival season. See you later.